Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Ark. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm taking my Rock Pi X mini single board computer and pitting it against Beam NG Drive. That's right. I'm going to see how well or frankly how poorly Beam NG Drive performs on this little single board computer. Now, uh, the version I have is the B4E128. It's got four gigs of RAM and a 128 gig EMMC. And uh, we're going to see how things go with BeamNG Drive. Now, there's going to be a couple of things that you're going to notice. One is this moir pattern. Sorry, it's going to be on there, but I uh, had to record the footage with my phone uh, because I couldn't grab it with my uh, video capture device. Just weird things going on with my computer lately. Uh, so there is that. And there's also no sound because the Rock Pi X has some kind of weird issue with the headphone jack. And uh, it only outputs HDMI. And I had to use an HDMI to VGA converter. It's a known issue, um, but uh, be that as it may, uh, there's no sound, there's no game sound. And, and really, by the time you watch this and see what's going on, you're, gonna, you're not going to miss the sound, believe me. So here we go. Let's see what happens when we try to run Beam NG on a Rock Pi X. Holy cow. All right, well, we have finally made it into the game. I actually cut out a lot of wait time. As you can see, just on the basic grid map, things are very laggy. Um, look at there, we're just now starting to get the UI uh, information to show up on the screen. Still don't have a speedometer yet, but, you know, hey, oh, there we go. All right, finally, speedometer in action. Let's see what happens if we accelerate. Um, there is no way I could run any kind of um, like fraps or anything that would capture a frame rate um, because BeamNG was already sucking up like all of the resources. Um, BeamNG essentially wants you to have eight gigs of RAM and this thing only has four. So uh, it was definitely hurting for certain, but by the same token, I mean, it's not doing too badly considering that, you know, we're running on grid map. So let's open it. Well, just open grid really. It's not even grid map. Um, just looking through some of the settings here, as you can see, uh, I, I, everything is just as the game launched. So everything is either off or it's low or, you know, it's just, this is what the game gave me. So I just wanted to see, uh, what would happen if we fired this bad boy up and, uh, it's, it's, it's rough for sure. Uh, I'd say we were probably getting, what was that? Maybe 10 to 12 frames per second. Um, so, 10 to 12 frames per second here. Uh, I am curious, though, if we change from the D-Series. Oh, my gosh, this is so slow. Uh, to another vehicle. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's, try the, uh, let's try the E800. Uh, if, I can, if I can even get it. Here we go. Come on. Holy cow. And... Replace the current car, and we wait, and we wait. All right, here we go. Kinda. Oh, look at that. S still trying to spawn in. All right, let's floor it here. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely stuttering, but... It, not bad. By the way, the CPU that comes with this thing, if you saw the specs at the beginning of the video, uh, the CPU was first introduced in like 2016. So I'm not saying this particular CPU is necessarily five years old, but the technology behind it is five years old. So, 
you're essentially dealing with a five-year-old computer. Um, and it's scaled back for that matter. Um, just wanted to kind of look in here and see what happens if we kind of pan around. I mean, it is definitely, you know, laggy, no doubt about it. But by the same token, it's actually not too bad considering what a small little computer that uh, we're dealing with here. So we played around with this for a little bit and decided, you know what, I, I think what we need to do is jump over to the cliff and let's see what happens if we throw the D series off of the cliff. That's a little external camera action. I actually forgot I had done this. I mean, heck, we even have smoke effects. So, you know what? It's it's playable. I, I would argue that that one car by itself on the open grid map, on the simple grid map, is playable in BeamNG. Kind of defeats the purpose. However, it can be done. Look at that from the inside. All right, let's jump over to the cliff. All right, here we are in the cliff map. Or on the cliff map, we've got the D-Series and uh, just put the pedal to the metal and I'm heading off of the edge. You can see that the uh, graphics are greatly reduced. Frame rate, oh, is suffering big time. Again, however, well, I was going to say, I, I would argue that this is at least playable. I would say passable at best. Oh, oh, look at that, though. We're still getting some nice destructive effects as the vehicle finds its way down the cliff and the frame rates are just absolutely horrendous. That is so not good. Then again, you know, you, you got to keep in mind um, this tiny little single board computer using uh, the Intel built-in graphics. I, I believe it's the uh, HD either 500 or 600. So, you know, BeamNG already doesn't like Intel graphics built in. Um, you know, it, it wants the more discreet, dedicated video. Uh, so <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so it was at this point I decided to run the benchmark test to get an idea as to how many vehicles BeamNG Drive thinks we could run at one time in the game. I'll, I'll let you take a guess at how many vehicles it thinks we can run at the same time. All right, so did you say zero? Is it, was that your guess? Your guess was probably one. Because, I mean, you know, technically we can run one, but <laughs> yeah, we're not running any additional vehicles here in BeamNG on the Rock Pi X, that's for sure. And although we were specifically told we can run zero, I thought it would be fun to see what happens if we attempted to run the Goliath scenario. Okay, well, it went, it counted down to Two. Oh, there's the one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. Go! Oh, so slow. So if you're not familiar with the Goliath scenario, um, you are in this SUV police vehicle and you have to take out a, a big rig hauling a trailer. So basically a, an 18-wheeler. You've got to try to take it out with your vehicle. And as you can see, I mean, we're not even running a frame per second, I don't think. Every now and then, kind of. But, I mean, this is just ludicrous. So, basically, in a nutshell, not that it's a major surprise. However, uh, will the Rock Pi X drive, will it do BeamNG drive? I'm going to give it a kind of, um, again, on the open, simple grid map with one vehicle, it is at least semi-playable. The, the issue that you're going to have is that if you get BeamNG, uh, 
and you're just driving a vehicle around an open area, you you are doing nothing with the game that it's supposed to be played. So it, it would have zero enjoyability whatsoever. However, I, I don't know. It, it's a fun experiment. Um, at this point, I can't even get the game to... Uh, I, I can't get it to start. I can't get it to exit. It, it just, at, at this point, nothing is working um, essentially everything is pegged out in terms of, um, how much Ram it's trying to use, how much processor it's trying to use. Everything is completely maxed out and, and I can't do anything. So anyhow, there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just something fun to do. Cause you know, why not? When you, when you have a rock pie X laying around, what the heck? Hey, in the future, I'm actually going to do uh, uh, another video coming up about the Rock Pie where uh, I run it through a couple of DOS games. Uh, we look at Half-Life 2, and then I also run a Passmark benchmark on it just to see uh, what it looks like. And you can see I even have the spinning blue wheel of death right there. So anyhow, that is BeamNG on a rock pie X. Hey, got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, GamerGall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Patreon. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time on Beam NG Drive. Have a great day.